Hello everyone and welcome to my hobby home. My name is Kathy. Thank you so much for joining me today. We are going to be doing Clue 5 of Cotton Cut's uh, Tree of Life. I do need to grab a few things to do this, so one moment. Okay, so I have my flat Nancy. I am hashtag Team Woodland. This is the colorway that I am using. Now, I have to keep that here so I make sure I have my fabrics correct. So, this is how my fabrics come. I do the month-to-month -month, um, subscription with the Tree of Life. There is the new Sew Along coming up that you can... Oh, y'all! Got a magnet in this one. How about that? I don't know if my machine will hold it. No, my machine won't. But I have a United States metal thing that this will fit perfect on. It'll go on that. That is so nice. That, that's a surprise. I wasn't expecting that. But all of my fabrics, they're all pre-cut. I was just telling you about the new sew along coming up. It's the Wild West. The colorways are out there. Quite a few of them are already sold out, but I think they could still be uh, able to get those and they will come out again. You know, they'll open those up to sell again. So I am going to just start by putting my fabrics on in my little acrylic tray here. I do have this acrylic tray listed down in my description. I purchased this from Amazon. I got two of them and I love them. I would not be able to do this without that. Y'all, it looks like I'm only using two colors. Now, I am doing the large. Now, I know I don't have to separate all of my blues here, but... I mean, that's how they cut them. So, this has got to be a very... I don't, I don't even need my little alphabetties today. But we have our Cotton Cuts Block of the Month, June 2024. That's cute. That's real cute. Now, I keep all of these. I have a little recipe box over here that I keep all of these in. So I'm going to sit that over. And here are my instructions. My clue. It looks like... It looks like I'm making this same block eight times. So this is what I will be making. Looks like I'll make eight of them. So, okay, it states all seams are a quarter an inch. Press in the direction of the arrows, which it looks like everything is going to be kind of going out. So, let's get started, guys. Or do I need to say, let's get ready to rumble? <laughs> we're not rumbling, we're sewing. <laughs> you will make eight of section five. Okay, so it says... So a small C, which blues are my C's, and the deer antlers are my A's. So we're going to sew a small C. It says top right. So I am going, and how many are we making? 16. Okay, it says 16. So I am going to sew all of let me make sure these are 16. Okay. This is a total of 16. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start by sewing um, one of these on the top right. So what I will do, sometimes the fabric does not want my fingers to pick it up. Just going to line this all up right here. This is the top right. I am going to... Whoops, I can't do anything without my presser foot, I don't guess. So let me get my presser foot hooked up. 
Okay, I now have this pressure foot, presser foot hooked up. And I am making sure I'm on that fabric right there. And we are just going to start. So we have 16 of these to do. So I'm just going to get with it and get this all a going. I have to make sure to think about how it goes on there. I'm so excited to have gotten this. I've, I've seen several other people have already gotten theirs. So I was getting excited about getting mine. Now, I, let me finish telling you about the Wild West. I did tell you that they have some of the colorways are already sold out. But if you look at the colorway, it will tell you what the probability is of them getting more of that fabric. They'll tell you like high or medium. I haven't seen any, but there may be. There may be some that's completely sold out and they're not going to be able to get it. And if y'all decide to sign up, just tell them that I sent you. And y'all, I just noticed, I just realized I may need to, I think I cleaned my machine. I think I'm pretty certain I did. Let me look and see. It's not going to let me raise it up, but it looks like it's really clean. I think I cleaned it when I put it up the other day. I did not sew yesterday. My grandbaby came over, so. And he is in teething mode and having a very rough time with it. But so I got some grandbaby time yesterday and so I didn't get any sewing done but I did come in here and get some cutting done and which is always fun. I, I like to get stuff cut because um, that way I could just come in and go, let's see, what do I want to sew today? And I could just say whatever because it's already cut. Cutting is the hardest part of the battle to me. The hardest part. That's why I like cotton cuts, y'all. Oh, and I didn't finish telling you about cotton cuts. Y'all, I squirreled. I squirreled. That's okay, because I'm going to be sewing this for a little while. But cotton cuts, they, you know, sometimes they're able to get some more of that fabric, and they're able to offer that colorway again. So keep checking back. Um, and if you want to do it, I will tell you, they, you can pay all of it at once, and get all of your fabric at one time. And But this is how I'm understanding it. If I'm not mistaken, you get all of your fabric at one time. And then they email the clues to you. If that is correct. I'm not sure. I think that's how it works. Because I think that's what I heard, heard her say on one of her lives one day she was talking about it and she did make mention of it's harder for the post office to lose a big box like that because i i do know of someone else that um the post the postal service actually lost their clue i think in the mail and they had to contact her and let her know, hey, we didn't get it. And, you know, that's got to be awful on them because they may only get just enough fabric in for that. Well, I'm, I'm sure they have a little extra. But then they've got to make an extra packet that they didn't anticipate because the mail lost it. I've heard of people saying where... And that's... When they do that, that's for people that pay monthly. If you pay monthly, this is how you will receive your clue. You will receive it in one of these little brown envelopes like this. 
and it will mail out to you on a certain day of each month um i'm not real sure about wild west but when you get your your colorway card this is your colorway card right here on the inside it tells you like tree of life the ship and email dates clue five was june 7th which i think mine actually i got a notice on june 4th i think um and clue six will be on the 5th of july that'll be the day it goes out you guys i'm going to tell you this is absolutely amazing everything comes pre-cut so if you've never done a puzzle mystery quilt it is so much fun and just because it says wild west does not mean that it is going to be horses and things like that it's just something that reminded them of something wild west it could be like fence posts it could be like a rail ladder um pattern it could be something that reminded them of a wagon wheel the carnival reminded them of a ferris wheel and and i have um my playlist i think i have got them i'm working on separating them out for like cotton cuts puzzle mystery quilts um you can go check my playlist out if you want to see that i think I think I have cotton cuts already done. I'm not real sure. I'm trying to get my playlist to where they make more sense. They don't make a lot of sense. But this way you could see, you know, all of the cotton cut clues. And you see how easy this is coming together. I mean, I'm almost finished with my 16. These are going to be flying geese. When it's all said and done, these are going to be flying geese. And I will also tell you with cotton cuts, you don't, I've never done the scant quarter inch, but if you do, you'll have some to trim off. But I don't do the scant quarter inch and I very rarely ever have to trim up anything because it is so accurate. I think they, I don't know if they die cut it or laser cut. But it is very accurate. Now see, this is my, my last big triangle piece here. So I've done 16. And I think my next step is to do it on the left side also. So we've done them all on the right. And we'll have to do them on the left. I will need to press before I do that. So if there is any overlap, it'll be pressed already. So in just a second, I will actually be back from pressing all 16 of these out. So now I have all 16 of those done. So now I need to start on the left side. We are making pretty good time here. And yeah, I'm sorry if I have to keep pulling my shirt up, but my mic is pulling my shirt down and I can't have that. But anyway, about cotton cuts, I know I'm, my mind is um, being distracted here. Uh, it would be really great if you did decide to join in with us. And I know there are several content creators that are doing the wild west which is phenomenal now that i started these i don't know if i can stop doing them i never knew about cotton cuts and y'all i i have just hit actually last week I hit my one year of quilting. So yay, 
I've hit my one year anniversary of quilting. I quilted my very first quilt, baby blanket, baby quilt. I believe it was June 3rd or June 4th when I finished it. So I completed my very first baby quilt in June of last year. So I have hit one year of quilting. And what a year it has been. I start, I released my first video, my first YouTube video on, I believe, July 14th. So I'm not even a year there yet. But I am having a blast doing this. I really do, when I sit down and I start recording, I do feel like even though I'm talking to a camera or my cell phone actually it's my cell phone at the moment um, I feel like y'all were on the other side with me sewing along so we can sew along together and get some things accomplished here now this here is like a block of the month but it comes to you already cut it's pre-cut they give you all the instructions, step-by-step -step instructions, and it it is one of the easiest things. I think if a person wants to make a quilt and just don't know where to start, this would be where to start because um, the guesswork is gone. You don't have to pick a pattern out. Your color choices are limited, so just find some colors you really like. And go with that. And it's really fun. There's plenty of us creators that uh, do sew-alongs with this. I don't really call this a so long. I like to chit chat. Um, I do know that Cotton Cuts, I believe they do a sew along with it. I'm not sure. I guess mine would be called to bring you along while I sew and we can talk. We can talk. We can do lots of that. And there should not be an appearance tonight of the little Oscar kitty cat. He is named Oscar because of Oscar the Grouch, you know, on Sesame Street, because he's got that grouchy cat face. That's just his face. That's just what he looks like. But a lot of times when I say he is in here with me. And I think next time when I take uh, pieces off of the machine, I'm going to check my machine because it, it's making noises. It's not making noises. It's just louder than it should be when I've just cleaned and oiled the machine. So... When I go to press these out, I will check my machine to make sure it don't need to be cleaned out. I'm pretty certain that I cleaned it when I put it to rest the day before yesterday. What was that, Sunday? Yeah, it was Sunday. I did a little bit of, of um, well, it has actually, because Sunday when I did my updates, I had moved it over to the side of my sewing table I always do that so I have my sewing table where I can set my projects and I'm pretty certain I cleaned it before I moved it I, I know I did but you know whenever you sew sometimes you can sew a whole bunch and don't have to clean it and other times 
you can sew a little bit and you just have to put another touch of oil up in there. And I have learned that Bernina's are very particular about that. So I try, I try to oil my machine every time I use it. And normally I clean it before I use it, but I'm, I'm pretty certain I cleaned it Sunday when I put it up. But it never hurts just to double check to be on the safe side because sometimes sewing machines are an investment. And this one is. This one is definitely an investment for me. So I am going to take care of it. And make sure it's in top notch condition. Now. I'm going to tell you, the needle cut, the thread cutter, it still ain't working right, but I'm not worried about that. I got scissors. If I have to do that, or I can pull it up here and do it on this, or I can do it on that one there. I was told it was probably, I might have had a knot form under there, and when I had to pull the thread, it could have bent one of the blades. And I'm like, if it's that finicky, I don't need it, because on my brother that I had it didn't do that my brother cut that thread every time not no problem and this here when it cuts it like hangs up inside of it so so I don't know I don't know if that's a design flaw or what but I got scissors if I need them I got them We are almost done with these, um, what they call flying geese. I always want to call them flying eagles. <laughs> okay, guys, I now have all of my flying geese done, and I want to show you that is how they come out without any trimming whatsoever. You can't get any better than that. Next thing we're going to do now is we are going to take one of our C's, and we are going to put it on the left end of our flying geese. So we have our flying geese and we have our C. And we are just going to line this up and we are going to do all 16 of them. And I really thought I was going to do this without Oscar coming in, but he let my husband know he wanted in. And my husband always lets him in. So we are just going to keep on matching these up. Now while I was pressing, I, I guess I need to kind of tell y'all how, how my brain works. <laughs> I do what I tell my sister. I call it 90 degrees of separation. You tell me one thing and my mind goes to like 10 different tabs. I'm sitting here. I have some fabric right over there and I have another um, poppy cotton clue back here. And I'm sitting here going, you know, I'm thinking I really need to put myself on a spending freeze I really need to quit buying because I have so many projects that I've already purchased but I need to get some of them done first and I am I'm going to work on those so I'm sitting here thinking if I want to get all of these projects done I'm gonna have to do like at least one a week. I don't, and I have more than 52. But, 
and I did say at the beginning of the year I want to smash my stash and I know I keep buying but y'all been seeing what I got coming out now some of it is actually most of it is from subscription boxes that I've been getting done but it's good that I'm getting those done because at least those aren't piling up and I'm really liking I, I'm really liking my subscription boxes they're very handy helpful I get things in them that I would probably never buy myself and then I so I get to try them out I mean technically yes I did spend my money on it but it's things I it's like I have a, a personal shopper for me in the craft world I had personal shoppers bitch I didn't know you could get one of those huh I didn't either <laughs> but that's actually what they do for me but right currently um, sew alongs that I'm doing with cotton cuts I do have um, the tree of life and then the, I've signed up for the Wild West. And I got the, I think it's Dusty Rose is the one that I got. It was the very first one because I thought my carnival quilt could be like a quilt for my granddaughter when she's, I mean my grandson when he's here. And like if they're both here at the same time, then, um, I'll make a dusty rose one for her a little quilt here at the house. So that'll be sweet for her. You know, they'll both have something. My grandbabies have so much in my house already and they are not even a year old. I am actually, unless my oldest daughter has a baby, because these two have done said the two mamas we got now, they done, both done said there ain't no, no more. Actually, my daughter's fiance has said that's it. No more. He don't, he can't go through that again. And I agree. We can't do that again. Because um, that birth was very traumatic, not only for the baby and her and him, but me, her dad. It, it was very traumatic for all of us. So, I, I don't blame him. I wouldn't want to go through that again either. But I have so much stuff for my grandbabies. Uh, my, my daughter came over and she's like, Mom, I've got to go buy diapers for him. And I'm like, just go in my room. I've got a little basket in there that's got some. I'm like, what size does he wear? And she told me, I'm like, there's a whole pack in there. Just grab the pack. I mean, it was open because my grandbaby, my granddaughter wears the same size. And when she was here, I had opened it and used several of the diapers out of there for her. I just feel like I need to keep a supply with me. Because you never know. I mean, you just never know when you're going to need one, when you keep them and oops, they run out, or oops, they forgot the diaper bag, or the only thing I don't have is the formula, but I got the baby food, I got the wipes, I got the blankets, I got diapers, booty paste, I got that powder, bath wash, baby towels, I got all of it here. That way they can just bring them to me and just walk in with a can of formula in their hand and be like, I'm going to be gone a little while. And, and they'll be okay. Although that has not been able to happen because it seems like here lately there is something going on all the time. Because otherwise I'd be keeping my green baby every Friday when I'm off of work. But this past Friday... You know, I was having my niece looked at. 
and that is kind of my day to get all my grocery shopping and everything like that done i'm already guessing what this one is because i kind of had an idea of what i kind of thought this is gonna look like a ferris wheel and and sure enough it was round like a ferris wheel and if you look back at at my carnival um thumbnails i had a ferris wheel on all of them <laughs> this one um this one here is tree of life i don't know tree of life i don't know what this one's going to look like i mean maybe it's gonna look like a tree Now, I think that one was off just a little bit on the end, but we'll take it like that. Just can't put it that way. But anyway, the Wild West, I think, I think of like a, when I think of Wild West, I think of a sunset. I think of like a, a fence, like an old wooden fence. You know, like a, a post oak fence. Um, I think of open ranges, you know, things like that. So that is going to be interesting to see what that is. I'm very excited to see what it, it is. And it hadn't even started. I think they... I think I saw somewhere the first clue would mail out about mid-July, I think. I'm not real certain. Y'all don't hold me to any of this. I mean, because I, I can't remember. Somebody commented, I'm, I, I'm always busy. And that's why I can't remember, because I'm all, I am always busy. Okay. So that is 16 of that. And I'm going to show y'all real quick. I've shown y'all before. This is a little caddy that's got the blade right there. And it's got magnets on both ends. It's made by Dritz. Um, I did get this from my local quilt shop. So if you have a local quilt shop, check them out. But if you don't, I do have a link for this in my description as well. I try to keep links of all the quilty things that I, I love and I use a lot in my description. So if you're interested, you could always go check it out. And um, I am an affiliate for Amazon. I may receive a small commission if you purchase something. It does not affect the price of what you purchase. I just get... A little commission off of it. I may. You don't get commission off of everything on Amazon. So I'll be right back with y'all after I press. These are now done. I know I didn't have to press those out. But what we are going to do now is take two of these and put them end to end. So what I'm just going to do is flip one over. Because that's the direction they we want them to go. And I am just going to make sure these are even real good. For some reason I was feeling like my, and I still am, I'm feeling like they're getting off a little bit on that edge. We got it down. And so what we'll do is we will make eight of these and then press them out. And then I will be done with clue five let me make sure i'm sewing the correct end because we want to have an open end on the right end not the left end and i'll show you what i mean by an open end in just a second when i get this one sewn together I'll show you what I mean. I'm just flipping this one over. And the right end is going to have this square. The left end is going to have this. So, well, it's the right end when I turn it around the other side. This is the right end. It's going to have that. 
I know it's backwards for me when I turn it around and show you what I'm talking about. I probably do that a lot and just don't catch myself. And I'm sure when I get done with all of them and press them, I'm going to catch. I did one of them backwards, probably. But I hope not. And y'all, even with all of the pressing and all that I've done, it's only been an hour. So that's not been bad, an hour. And, you know, I know when I was doing Carnival and I was doing the small, it would take me sometimes two hours to do a small clue. And I'm doing the large tree of life. And I'll tell you, that's why I'm doing the tree of life by monthly payment because I couldn't do that amount because that's over $300. I couldn't do that at one whack. I mean, quilting is an investment, and I understand that, but I just couldn't do $300 at one time. Now, if you want to do the small one, that will run you about $250, i am thinking. And that's what I'm doing on the Wild West. So I went on and just paid for that one outright hey guys this is it this is the last unit this is clue five of cotton cuts tree of life and i will be right back to show you what this piece looks like. Well, y'all, I have all eight of my Clue 5 completed for the Tree of Life. These were so easy. Even with pressing after every single step, this has only been an hour and 15 minutes long. So guys, I really appreciate that you have joined me this evening. Uh, sewing this clue number five for Cut and Cut's uh, Tree of Life Puzzle Mystery Quilt. And I would really like it if you would give me a thumbs up, subscribe, leave a comment, tell me what you think. I do try to respond to each and every comment personally. And as always, until I see you again, have a very blessed day. Goodbye.